Good morning, classmates. Good morning, sir. My topic is all about genetic algorithm. Topic highlights. First, what is a genetic algorithm? Second, genetic algorithm applications. Third, genetic algorithm life cycle. Fourth, sample problem with GE solution. And lastly, genetic algorithm paper review. What is genetic algorithm? A genetic algorithm is a method of solving both constrained and unconstrained optimization problems based on a natural selection process that mimics biological evolution. GA applications, operations research, sociology, game theory, economics, biology, financial trading, engineering, and AI design. Introduction to genetic algorithm. Genetic algorithm first introduced by Holland in 1975 is a powerful stochastic search algorithm based on the mechanisms of natural genetics and selection. Goldberg, 1989. A general description is as follows. Genetic algorithm starts with an initial set of random solutions called a population. Each individual in the population is called a chromosome representing a solution to the problem at hand. The chromosomes evolve through successive iterations called generations. During each generation, the chromosomes are evaluated using some measures of fitness, or we call it fitness function. To create the next generation, new chromosomes called offspring are formed by either merging two chromosomes from current generation using a crossover operator or modifying a chromosome using a mutation operator. A new generation is formed by selecting according to the fitness values. Some of the parents and offspring and rejecting others so as to keep the population size constant. Fitter chromosomes have higher probabilities of being selected. After several generations, the algorithm converts to the best chromosome, which hopefully represents the optimum of suboptimal solution to the problem, according to Jen and Cheng, 1997, page 1 and 2. Sample problem, traveling salesperson using genetic algorithm. What is the shortest continuous path that connects all of them with the condition that the first city is your last city or round trip with these routes? How can we represent routes as DNA? An ordered collections of cities what makes a particular route good? Shorter distance travel. We call it uh, fit, fitter uh, chromosomes for the shorter distance travel. Fitness function equals the shorter the path, the better. Basically, you go through a city to city and sum up all distances and then rank them. Step by step, number one, the given cities randomly generate a population of possible routes. We have to generate a seed of population called generation zero. As shown here, we have cities 
one to five with three routes and we want to find the shortest path between them next is randomly shuffle three times totally random and place them in out starter generation step two calculate fitness of each route for one over distance the shorter the fitter third randomly selected two routes again the shorter the distance the, the higher the fitness and then randomly selects to these routes randomly means the fitter you are the higher chances to be selected this algorithm is modeled after biology step Step four, mate, formally cross over. Here we have two parent routes, R1 and R2. Our routes are ordered. Our crossover step must be therefore pass ordered segments to offspring. Here I'm gonna make an offspring. First, we take random segment of link from one of the parents transplanted directly into the offspring, route 1. Notice how the index is the same as the parent, C1 and C5, C1 and C5. Notice, and then from the second parent, R2, Here, you start with CT3, index from the end of the segment. So, CT5 is already here. CT1 is already here. This one. So, C1 is already. So, C4 and then the other one is C2. So we already have our first offspring of our algorithm. Step number five, randomly mutate its offspring or, or offspring route. So mutate is based on the specified probability. Let's say here each city has a 5% chance of being swapped with another CT. Using a predetermined probability, we decide whether it mutate or not. In this case, CT1 has been selected to mutate. So CT1 and CT2. Step number six, add offspring to the, to the next generation of routes. Here, a, a new generation is created as the same size of the old ones. Then, step 7, rinse and repeat until full. That's it for my genetic algorithm topic. Let us now proceed to the paper review on genetic algorithm. So my, the paper entitled A Study on Genetic Algorithm and Its Applications. Uh, for the abstract, in order to obtain best solutions, we have we need a measure for the differentiating best solutions from worst solution. The measure could be an objective one that is a statistical model or a simulation, or it can be subjective one where we choose better solutions over worse ones. Apart from this, the fitness function determines the best solution for the given problem, which is subsequently used by the GA to guide the evolution of best solutions. The paper shows how GA is combined with various other methods and techniques 
to derive optimal solution, increase the computation time of retrieval system or the applications of genetic algorithm in various fields. For, for the methodology, a uniform crossover a uniform crossover combines bits sampled uniformly from the two parents as illustrated in this figure or figure 3. So, in this case, the crossover must generate a random bit string with each bit chosen at random and identified of the others. So, two bit, two, two chromosomes randomly combine for the offspring or crossover. And then this is the offspring or the child. So the other one is top point crossover. So this is the result. And then uniform crossover. And then this is the result. So point mutation. So this is the result. Now for the conclusion, genetic algorithm proved to be better in finding areas of complex and real world problems. Genetic algorithms are adaptive to their environments as this type of method is a platform appearing in the ch changing environment. In the present, these algorithms are more applicable. Several improvements must be made in order, to G in order that GAs could be more generally applicable. That's all guys for this morning. Thank you and have a nice weekend.